Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. Today, we are going to get into the subject of being pro-black, but dating out. So the question would be, can you be pro-black, but date white or non-black? Now, right in front of you is the actress Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer caused a bit of a controversy last week because she was caught kissing a white man. Now, we have no idea if this is a love interest, if it was just a fling, if it was just a drunken kiss. Who knows what it was? But what we do know is that it did cause a lot of controversy. And some people were surprised because they were saying that, Miss Palmer, I thought you were just so pro-black. Now, I'm going to get into if you can be pro-black and date white or date non-black. But before I get into that, I'm going to give you my opinion as to what pro-black is. Because there seems to be quite a few people, not a whole lot, they're in the minority who claim to be pro-black or for the advancement of black people, but yet they date out. Does that make them a contradiction? Well, I'll let you decide. Okay, you know... Here's my definition of pro-black. Pro-black is when you, another black person, looks out, first and foremost, for the health, the well-being, the advancement, and the survival of other blacks. You put their needs, protection, peace of mind, and life before any other race. That is pro-black. Pro-black is not anti-white. It is not anti-Asian. It is not anti-Middle Eastern. It is not anti-Hispanic. It is not anti-country. It is not anti-LBGTQ. Pro-black, however, is anything that is anti for the destruction of the black race. Now, here, here goes with... uh, dating out I do not believe that you can be pro-black and prefer a white person or a non-black person I do not believe that you can be pro-black and deliberately put yourself in a position to get a non-black spouse I do not believe that you can be pro-black and join predominantly white dating sites or predominantly dating sites that are not black. I do not believe that you can be pro-black and champion interracial unions or look at them as being something special or beneficial. Particularly special above black unions. I do not believe that you can be pro-black and desire to have mixed race children or even want mixed race children. I do believe that those children would happen out of love, not because you want children with lighter skin, looser hair texture, certain types of features, or you're fetishizing mixed babies. See, I do not believe that you can be pro-black and think that because you are marrying out that somehow you are benefiting racial relations because that's kind of twisted logic right there. So in terms of being pro-black and marrying non-black, It's kind of yes, no, no, yes. 
So I'm taking a stance that I do not believe that it can be preferred. Do I believe it can happen? I believe that it could happen, but that particular white person who you are dating, who you are marrying, is going to have to be very empathetic towards your cause, towards your activism, and towards your fight. They cannot be in any way hindering or holding you back. There's going to have to be a level of respect and understanding. And if they do not understand, they're going to have to be quiet. But that in itself can be a problem there. Because many people love to voice their opinions. So can you be pro-black and date non-black? A slight yes. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that was another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you beyond and through.